The Humans Are Just So Cute by Slow Ad 2584. The dragon lounged on its mountain of ancient treasures, its oily black scales shimmering with ultramarine blue and ultraviolet highlights as it moved and caught stray beams of sunlight peeking through the tangled vines of the fissure above. I just find them so adorable, the super cute things that they do, the dragon said to the being of smoke and black lightning shackled to the wall. <sighs> Release me, the smoky being whispered in impotent fury. Oh, that's never going to happen. I've seen what you do to those cute little ones out there. I'm not having any of that. The being shrank into a corner, resigned to sit yet through another dialogue. Have you ever seen how they sit? Like, in a chair thingy? OMG. So cute how they can fold up like that. And when they tuck their little feet underneath, oh. Its talons clenched, gouging deep into the solid mound of gold coins as its neck shivered in delight. So adorable. Or, or when I fly over their town square, how all their little mouths open up into little O's as they all face and track my flight over. All those tiny little circles. Oh, and when I swoop to a hover over the crowd, the wind from my wing beats whipping their hair and clothes back behind them. Oh, I just love how they look up with those little faces, those delicate little eyelids trying to cover their eyes, but they still all just want to see. OMG, those are the cutest little faces. Now, don't tell anyone, but sometimes I use my magic to sneak into their homes while they are asleep. To tickle their hair, just to see how they swipe and slap at their heads while asleep. Oh, I can never get enough of that. The bean of smoke and black lightning stirred. <clears throat> you walk among them. Well, sometimes. It's really the only way to see them, being their clumsy, dorky selves. Such precious little chonkers. Have you ever seen them try to pass each other in a hallway? And they step aside the wrong way over and over again. Oh, that just makes me want to crush them in lovey hugs. How they try so hard, yet fail. Yes, I have seen that. That is actually pretty adorable. Oh, and the way their tummies grumble when they haven't eaten in a while. Little tummy angry. Oh. The silky wings of the dragon crunched up and shook in delight, as its smoldering eyes squeezed shut. <clears throat> or the way their arms shiver and shake, as they scramble to a pool of water, after being held prisoner without water for days. Uh, uh, that's horrible. The dragon's head reared back in appalled horror. And you wonder why you're held captive here, with a human village mere miles away. Oh. But you reminded me of one time this knight in shiny armor was riding a horse, so very proud of himself, and his horse knocked him off with a low tree branch. The way he lay there like a turtle on his back, unable to get himself up. The cutest part was how his compatriots didn't help, but instead pointed and laughed at his misfortune. <laughs> when they do the burny dance. The what? You know. The running round circles, arms flailing, when they're all on fire. The burn e dance that was you? All joy had left the dragon's eyes, the SMR movements replaced with a furious predatory liquid, draconic prowl. It reared up like a massive cobra over the cowering being of smoke and black lightning. Neon green acid dripped from its teeth as it hissed, sputtering its scalding fury wherever the drops fell, melting even the stone floor with terrifying ease. I swore if I ever found the monster that did that. Farmers outside the village looked up, towards the distant hills. Was that an earthquake? Smoke and steam erupted from fissures in the slope. Great hammering impacts could be felt through the soil. No volcano. No meteors falling from the sky. So that's weird. They were not too concerned. 
The dragon was fond of them. It would protect them. Has for generations now. They shrugged and went back to farming, trying to keep their balance with the continuing shocks to the ground. The clumsy little darlings.